got a I got a picture of Tyler this morning, uh, and then I put it on my snowboard. Okay. He was smoking a cigarette and taking a. Regular camber boards have the greatest feeling on turns and Ride really, really nails it with their regular camber boards and their side cut. It is such a perfect combination that no matter what turn you do or where you're headed, it's just super comfortable when it initiates and when it unengages. The ride kink is really stiff. Never in a day in my life have I woken up and been like, hey, I really want to ride a stiff board today. Uh, so I'm, I'm really a fan of looser and flexier boards. However, after riding this for two days total, I'm really reconsidering that. The Ride Kink, the infamous. This board has been around for decades. It hasn't changed too much. What has changed, obviously, is the nose and tail. Boxed that out a little bit. Still regular camber, which is nice. A super mellow regular camber, like a millimeter if, like just barely lifts up. The board pretty much rides uh, flat, but it does have a nice snap because of the regular camber. This board was a little chattery at high speeds, um, going over stuff. Um, the polyurethane that uh, Ride always has, though, did help with the chatterness. It kind of damped it out a little bit, but still kind of felt it. Jesus, it's blowing in. <laughs> stiffness is a six out of 10, just over medium. It definitely retains some of the stiffness in this camber, but it will bend when you want it to, and uh, really, really, really pops with authority. It gets you up and in the air when you release. It's one of the stiffest boards that I've ridden. I'm more of a flexi guy. It was hard to get used to. The pop on it, I really had to work for it. I had to move my hips over the edge to load the nose or tail. Work for your butters, you had to work for your pop. Popping onto the rail took a while to get used to. However, once, once I got used to it, immediately I was having a blast. And then jibs, it's just super comfortable. It unengages and turns exactly how you want it to. That being said, it really goes in and out of the features just like you like. So it's a killer park board all around. I kept on saying that I couldn't jib on this thing. And then by the end of the day, I was doing all, all my rail tricks. I was able to lock into almost every jib that I got on. As soon as I got the board on the rail, um, if I was relatively somewhere in the middle of the snowboard, I was on it till the very end. For some reason, I don't, know quite what maybe it was just because it was such a mellow regular camber with the softness or something but I could not lock in the rails with this board for some reason it was a it was kind of a struggle slipped out a lot caught some edges I definitely felt more comfortable on jumps with this because of that regular camber just gave you the snap made you land and it was good I'm not the biggest jump guy I do hit jumps but this board actually made me feel way more solid and way more confident, so I think that's a huge plus. It had a lot of ride-off pop, not a lot of ollie pop. It almost landed the trick for you again. If I was back seat, it would just land them. Oh geez, dude, this snow's killing me. I gave this board a 90, because it was a great board. Um, it was just not enough life. I gave this board a shred credit of a 96 because it did really good throughout the entire park. I really wish that we had a half pipe that I could go rip this thing on. I just had to get used to the pop. As soon as I did that, I had a blast on it. I gave this board a shred credit of a 99 because it fucking slays it. It makes me want to go to the top of the mountain as high as I can go and fly down the groomers. It just is so comfortable. Damn, someone does like that board already. This board's fun! For the latest snowboard reviews, check out BoardInsiders.com.